Hi, Fibro Nation. Today I'm going to be talking about what it's like to go out on an outing when you actually have fibromyalgia and chronic pain. It's not that easy. One of my clients called me, said, you want some Broncos tickets? I'm like, of course I want Broncos tickets. Going to Broncos games is or used to be one of my favorite things. Ever since he called, I have been so nervous. I realize I have to schedule things. I have to get my injection Thursday morning in order to be able to go Thursday night. I found a friend who can drive because I'm night blind and driving would make me so nervous I would freak out. It's hard just to do things like my car. I can't open the hood. I don't drive that much because I'm never gone. So I went to open the hood to put in radiator fluid because the radiator leaks just so I can go pick up the tickets downtown and I can't get the hood open. So I have to drive to a garage to get somebody to open the hood. So now I'm going to get the tickets and even driving down just to get the tickets is a job for me. So yikes. I will continue this soon. This morning I was not going to get up. I just decided it hurts too much. Everything hurts. And then I got a phone call from a friend named Michelle (laughs) who says, what are you doing tonight? And it got me so excited and so motivated that I decided I don't care if I'm going through this pain. I'm going to go. So I went to a Bible study. I hadn't even done all my Bible study work until 8.30, from 8.30 until like 10 after 9, I did my Bible study work. Yay! And I wrote about living life, which I have locked myself away for years. Right. And um, at Bible study, I hobbled in, all hunched over. Afterwards, they prayed for me. They put their hands on my back. Thank you, Deb Kumanoff Power. Another high school friend. Yep. Elementary, junior high, high school. And I stood upright again. And it's because, number one, I gave it all away. Yes. I need to learn how to give it all away. Because I'm not in control of most anything. I'm not in control. Definitely (laughs) not of my mind, of my of my heart, of my mouth. (laughs) And, um... But you have to... You can't lock yourself away. Which is so easy to. I live with... I'm a depressed person. I've lived on antidepressants for years. I've been off of them now for about four months. Wow. Can keep falling back into that situation of right. being depressed but I'm worth more and um, and your Bible it, study was about living life right? it was about living life and I'm going to live life where are we going? go to the Broncos! <laughs> we are on a rickshaw oh my Dr. Floyd here from UC Health. UC Health. Um, I just diagnosed Michelle with level nine bronchitis fever. Oh. She'll have a note as well. She's not to work for nine days. Yes. Aid, taken care of, light duty. All right. Yes. Any questions? Yes. Call me. Okay. Yes. Great. Thank you. Coming up onto the field. Ladies and gentlemen, the Denver Broncos and the National Football League ask that you please rise and remove your hats as we honor America.
high fibromyalgia nation. So this is the next day. My activity is over and I'm at the doctor's office early in the morning, which was difficult because I didn't get home till one. But I'm so glad that I did what I did and that activity will keep me happy and wanting to get out more and it's just going to be something that will take me a long way. It makes my chi strong and happy. Signing off. Have a happy fibro day. This is Michelle.